And uh, maybe you're seeing here that we have a couple of questions that are qualitative in nature, meaning that you're looking at graphs and drawing them. And this one's going to be where you're drawing me a picture. Uh, I've got my, so the picture below shows a gas at P1, T1, and V1, confined by a piston that can move freely depending upon changes in volume. Sketch a picture of the piston, of the position of the piston after the pressure has been decreased by 50% while keeping the temperature constant. Uh, so you're gonna sketch me a picture and then you're gonna upload a PDF file, file of that picture. And when you do this, so uh, no matter how you print it out, make your drawing of similar size. So if you wanna make a smaller drawing, make a smaller printout or just draw it again. But what I'm looking for here is a clear picture of the piston either moving lower or moving higher, depending upon what's happening here. And in order to figure out what's going on, we're going to use the ideal gas law. And for the ideal gas law, if we have, um, well, there's a couple different ways to do that, but let's, use, let's try and use the ideal gas law since that's the one that's on uh, this week's homework. It says, um, the pressure has been decreased by 50% while keeping the temperature constant. So pressure has been decreased. while keeping everything else constant. So this is the ideal gas law. I'm sure you saw this in the lecture outlines. P is pressure, V is volume, uh, and in fact, um, in lab as well. Uh, N is moles, R is uh, the ideal gas constant, and T is temperature in Kelvin. So these three are going to be constant for this problem. It specifically mentions that temperature is constant. We know that R is constant, and because there's a piston keeping the amount of gas constant, we didn't specifically mention it, but N, the number of moles of gas, is also constant, um, which means that if pressure decreases, to keep this a true statement, volume must increase. Uh, so pressure decreased to keep this uh, a true, um, or to keep it equal, volume must increase. And as long as your picture shows that increase, that would be great, and shows it clearly. Like, don't make it up this high, and I'm wondering how, which way you're doing. Uh, technically, your drawing should show the volume doubling, and so if it's gonna double, it should be somewhere up here. And that's actually a fine answer. You can also draw the gas particles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And um, and that's a fine picture as well. You could also color them in, but I'm not going to color them in. Are there any questions about this? And this one, there are uh, several versions.